Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to another video. So today I am going to do a Dutch pour using the Bloom recipe. I am going to attempt a circle Dutch pour. Canela has been doing them and I absolutely love the way they come out. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'm going to give it my best. So before I get started really quick, April 4th, it's a Saturday, Agawam, Massachusetts from one to four. I will be there teaching a class. If you're interested in attending and you're from that area, email me or by Tammy at yahoo.com. So what I have in front of you are four colors and five interference colors. Now the colors that I'm working with today are Prussian Blue by Grumbacher, Golden's Fluorescent Magenta. I have Bright Aqua Green from Liquitex. And then this color right here is a primary elements color called Passion. And I absolutely love, love, love this color. It's a bright, I would say hot pink magenta color. A little, um, not bright like this, but a deep, deep pink. It's just a gorgeous color and it shifts. There's a blue shift to it. So I have that color. And then in here, I have the interference colors, the blanket interference colors made by Color Art also. Primary elements are by Color Art. Interference colors are by Color Art. So I have all five, gold, red, violet, green, and blue. And my thought is I'm going to put these colors down in a circular pattern, blow it out, and hope to God it looks halfway decent. For my cells, I'm going to be using American Floetrol mixed with carbon black heavy body paint. And I like it a little watery, not watery, but runnier than what you're supposed to use. It's just what works for me. When it comes to the Bloom recipe, it's one of those things where what works for you probably doesn't work for a lot of other people. You have to kind of use the same ingredients and figure out your consistencies and what works for you. My house paint is Walmart's brand uh, color plates, semi-gloss white. And that's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you on pause while I put white, the white Walmart paint all over the canvas and I will be right back. So I think it's very important to mention I am now, this is mostly for beginners because a lot of people are confused. I am now in the title of my videos listing whether or not I'm doing an original acrylic pour, no matter what the technique, whether it be um, a Dutch pour or a flip cup, no matter what. I am now listing in the title what it is that I'm the original word so that you know I'm using either Floetrol or pouring medium to make my painting. This Bloom recipe is not an original acrylic pour. This was intended for the creation of Bloom-like centers on flowers, okay? That's what it was intended for. Um, and a lot of people are getting confused by that, so... Well, let me stop talking for a second here. I'm just going to freehand a circle, which is going to be a mess in itself, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, a lot of people are, are like I did my injection pour yes, the other day and I put down original acrylic pour after the name of the technique I was doing. Somebody asked why I didn't use cell activator in my injection. Well, cell activator is a term that belongs to the Dutch, the Bloom recipe. It does not belong with a, an original acrylic pour. So from now on, when I do a Bloom, it's not going to say original acrylic pour when I do a Bloom recipe 
for a technique. It's, it's actually pretty simple if you think about it. The word bloom should signal to you that this is not the usual recipe that people use for acrylic pouring. All right, so that was the fluorescent magenta in the passion color. I'm going to now add the interference colors. This is the blue. Now, you won't be able to see them right away because what they do is they they add shifting properties to your colors so once i get done with this painting and i bring my phone down and you get a close-up you'll start seeing colors like gold and green that i didn't even use so that was the blue this is the green So yeah, a lot of people are confused, the, the new people that are coming onto the scene. So that's why I'm going to do that. I hope some other artists will join in and do that because there are a lot of new people that are thinking that house paint and varnish belongs in acrylic pour, and it doesn't. For this technique, it works good, but... Um, it also works good for the bloom itself. Like you can use this recipe for other techniques, but that is not a, an original acrylic pour. That's all I could say. This here is gold. So we will have some gold in our colors. Like when you watch Canella do her circle, Dutch, she will use Floetrol and water because that's how original pouring is usually done. It's not done with this, but I'm testing the testing and pushing the boundaries here by using this recipe. Don't know if I could get it to work. We shall see. All right, so that was red. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a little bit of this Prussian blue. And then I'm going to put my violet interference on top of that. Now, interference colors look the best on top of darker colors, darker opaque colors. And so here is the violet. Okay. So the last color I'm going to put down is going to be this bright aqua green. And with this, maybe I'll just kind of wiggle it through so it's everywhere okay uh let's see now we want the cell activator which again there is no cell activator in original acrylic pouring what you're doing with original acrylic pouring is you're creating cells by mixing Floetrol with all of your colors. Um, with the bloom, you're leaving it out of all the colors and only adding it into this, which is why you can control where the blooms are, where the, the cluster of cells are. It's a totally different look than a regular cell pattern. It's more controlled. It's not everywhere. If 
if that makes sense. The cells are not everywhere, I should say. So I'm putting a healthy serving of this. All around the center. And now I will torch it really quick just to pop some of the air bubbles in that center. Just be careful with, with house paints because they do burn fast with, with a flame on them. So it's got to be a real quick pass by. And by the way, the recipe will be listed in the description below. I've done numerous, probably 20 mixing videos already. I'll list one at the end of this video if you're, you want to know how I see how I mix them. But I've done this so many times already that I'm not going to go through it every single video. So for the new people, at the end of this video, you will see a video pop up. And it, if you watch it, it'll show you how I mix these paints. All right, so here we go. Very beautiful. And I put my blow dryer right through it. <laughs> oh boy. Only me. not a biggie believe me all right that looks really 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 beautiful so now I'm gonna take my airbrush and I'm gonna work on moving this out a little bit and then I'll have to fix this little mess I made but overall really really pretty So I'm just moving some of the uh, edges here, just a little tiny bit. So this is going off the canvas. And I know that there is a lot of color stuck under here. Let's see. Let's 
See all that yummy color? I'm kind of just working it back into the center. These need to come out a little more. This is just gorgeous. Wow. Very, very pretty. Very pretty, my friends. All right. Gonna work on this over here and try to bring it down a little bit more. I could probably stretch it down that way. But let's see what I could do by using the uh, airbrush. I love this little airbrush. I do have it in, in my uh, Amazon shop. It is totally worth, I think that's 60 bucks. Yeah, and I think I'm going to be stopping very soon here. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit for a minute. I'll pause you guys and I'll be right back. Okay, I've decided to leave it the way it is. It is up close, it is absolutely beautiful. Let me take you in. So here it is with the lights on. Okay, and here's lights off. I do this so you can see the interference colors. Come on, focus. Look at that. Just absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. My phone's having a hard time focusing. It's so blingy.
So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, look at that sparkle. See that sparkle? There's no glitter in here. Those are those mica flakes. They are in the, uh, uh, what's it called? The interference colors. They're just beautiful. You just look at that sparkle. Absolutely beautiful. So if you like the video, please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, all the links that you need for products and coupon codes are listed below. I'm sure most of you know Canela Sirocco, but I will link her channel to her circle uh, Dutch pour that she did. And yeah, you know the drill. I have a Facebook group, United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. Head on over. There's a link below for that if you want to check it out. Uh, this and all art is for sale. I uh, do resin coats on all my paintings. So as soon as this is dry, I will resin it and you will not believe what it looks like out in the sun. Um, so there is an Etsy shop linked in the description. And at the end of this video, you'll, you'll see words pop up during the video um, that say buy art here. You'll see a video uh, link at the end of the video if you're interested in anything. Um, that is the best way. To help support the channel just through purchasing art beautiful artwork so anyway i hope you guys are all having an amazing day and happy pouring